sad but can't really do anything just watch Living on the road means plans are always changing. And today I had a video plan in mind. I had everything stuck in my head. I knew exactly what I was gonna do. I knew, for once, I knew exactly, exactly what I was gonna do. I had it all planned out, the whole day, actually. This was the plan. I was gonna wake up, seven o'clock in the morning, maybe eight, somewhere between there, seven to eight o'clock in the morning. I was gonna head up, I was gonna go, in my Jeep, I was going to put everything together, pack up the rest of my tools that I had, you know, anything I left laying around the house at my cousin's house, pack it all up. Around 10, 11 o'clock, it's gonna head off onto the road. Boom, beautiful time lapses, drone shots. I'm heading off to Oklahoma. It was going to be amazing. So I arrive to Blue River, this beautiful scenery, surrounded by forest. And this is going to be the start to the next day of the life of Trevor, my channel. We're gonna see, it was gonna be beautiful, amazing views, everything. So here I am, packing the Jeep, and wouldn't you know it, the Jeep has an issue. Now, I don't know if the Jeep is going to break down or not, but there's a possibility that my belt will pop off because the harmonic balancer isn't on tight enough. So it's like sticking out, like the belt is like riding off the edge like that much and it's just kind of going. But it lasted this long and I was just like, well, forget it. I'm leaving today. I don't care. I'm leaving. I've driven about an hour and you guys, you already know what I'm about to say or you think you know what I'm about to say. You think I'm going to say and then suddenly the belt broke and the engine overheated. And I'm, that's what you think I'm going to say. But no, what happened is much, much worse, much worse than I could have ever expected. There's this guy who's been following me on Instagram, I think on YouTube as well, Radioactive Jeep Overlanding. And he's about to actually start a road trip in his Jeep. Pretty cool guy. He's got his Jeep. He's gonna start living in it, I think. Um, that's what I've heard so far. I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he does have a Facebook. So follow him on Facebook, you know, checking him out and stuff. Well, I wasn't aware of this, but uh, when I drove past that fire, I uploaded it on Instagram, and I was like, boom, house fire. So the house got on fire. Terrible, terrible, by the way. And he's like, where are you at? And I'm like, yeah, I'm hanging out here. And he's like, cool, lunch on us. And now we're talking, and now I'm going to drive up to, I guess we're going to a chicken place. Oh, was it? Cowboy chicken. I've never had it before, and if I have, I don't remember. It sounds a little familiar, so maybe I have, but it's been so long that I couldn't tell you. So I'm going to head up there, drive up there, and we are going to go get lunch. I didn't put my key in before I decided I was going to drive off. But for now... 
off to meet this guy. Oh, that's a cool looking Jeep over there. All geared up. That's a good looking Jeep. I'm gonna park next to them. I'm pulling right in here. It's a good looking Jeep. Nice to meet you. How you doing, buddy? Nice to meet I'm Trevor. you. Trevor. Good to finally meet you. Good I know, meet you. right? Meet Live you and in Trevor. person. <laughs> <laughs> I like your Jeep. I like yours. It looks yeah. better in person. Okay, so I was driving through, wait, what town are we in? Sherman. Sherman. Sherman, and I posted on Instagram and ran into Roy. Roy and Carol. Carol, and they're about to go do like what you guys are going to move into your Jeep actually. So you're cool. quitting your job and they're going to travel in their Jeep. And apparently, they're not going to start a YouTube channel yet, but they're thinking about it. And we have Facebook and Instagram though. Yes. So yes. I'm going to tag them down below, and they're about to start full time living in their Jeep. Is that right out there? You have a name for the Jeep? Radioactive. Radioactive. The orange Jeep. I, have, I think I got a video of it. So. I have a picture though. COVID 19 response team. A uh, COVID 19 <laughs> response team. So. Yeah. so, and they bought me lunch and we just sat and talked about Jeeps and living at Jeeps. So, awesome meeting you guys. Yeah, you too. Really appreciate yeah. dinner. Yeah. Thank you. Really cool <laughs> so, after dinner, I really, need, after dinner, I was driving. I drove to a parking lot to talk to my parents and sitting there. Get a text message from my cousin. It's my bag. My brand new Cabela's bag that I use for my toiletry bag. It has all my soap in it, my toothbrush in it, everything. I need a new toothbrush. Oh, the ones that are on sale are gone. I just need a little toothbrush. I don't want it to be expensive. Why are, tooth why are toothbrushes so expensive? What's the cheapest toothbrush that exists? Like, out of all toothbrushes. But it still isn't, like, terrible. Why does that one look funny? You know what? I don't drop my camera first. It's on sale. I'm gonna try it. It's supposed to like wipe my teeth better or something stupid. Okay. Charcoal toothbrush. I don't understand. It's just black. Doesn't smell weird. Mac and cheese with the chicken strips. Ah. I want to see if this turns my teeth black. There's only one way to find out, and that is by eating it. So mm, I can't tell. Oh wow. It did nothing. Copyright music. Enter weight. I don't want to enter my weight. That's like. Enter time. Enter age. Begin workout. Three, two, one. I've never been here before. I think we can do a second. I'm gonna get caught and I'm going to get in trouble. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. My plan was to go out, go to Blue River today, right? That was that was the plan. That was that was my whole plan. I didn't go. I would drive there right now, but here's my situation. So far the Jeep's been fine, but I don't want to drive all the way out to this place, you know, and have a belt break and then have to deal with all of that. My plan is to buy another belt, and then from there I will try to get the harmonic balancer fixed. But the reason I'll buy another belt is the worst case scenario, my belt snaps. I have another belt, I'll put it on, and I'll drive into town so I can, you know, get it fixed. Or at least, you know, have the security of having another belt. Now I really want to just say, forget it, Spend, drive the last 30 minutes, go see this beautiful water so I can have a cool place to wake up in the morning. But it's just not the smart decision. So I'm gonna be smart, be an adult, you know, and I'm going to wait until tomorrow. It'll be cool though. So tomorrow, plan is, I'm gonna drive to Blue River, 
should be pretty cool. From the pictures, it looks really cool. But that way, I'll have a fresh morning. Wake up in the morning, drive there, it'll be cool. Tonight, I'm just gonna stay in a parking lot. Not as cool, but it was well worth it because I got to meet Roy and Carol. They've been following the channel for a while. And apparently, Roy's a pretty big fan of mine. And because they're gonna be getting on the road soon, they might actually meet up with me more often in the future. I'm probably gonna run to a lot of people in Colorado because it sounds like everybody's just trying to get to Colorado right now. So, until then though, I am actually going to be doing a meetup in Oklahoma. Now, I was gonna do a meetup in Texas, but with everything moving, I ended up landing in Dallas. And the closest thing in Dallas that's actually a reasonable place to meet up is Oklahoma. The meetup is going to be at Broken Bow on the 27th of March. So it's gonna be in about a couple weeks from now. And I don't have an exact date set up yet, but if you're interested, you can either message me down below, DM me on Instagram, or just wait for me to give you the location and just show up. You don't need an invitation or anything. This is your invitation. If you watch my channel, I will have the coordinates on where the meetup is in a couple of days and an exact time. We're just gonna be camping out. You can bring whatever vehicle you have, but I think that the place we're going, you're gonna need an off-road vehicle. So anything that's off-road, if you wanna go camp with us, I'll give you an address. So far, I have a couple people going. It should be pretty cool. I think it'll be fun to meet some of you guys. I'm really excited for it to happen. And that's about all I got for you today. I'm gonna to get back on this treadmill because it's beeping at me for not being on it.